Okay, just a quick review on the Bose Wave Radio. Uh, the TV Solo, which just came out by Bose, and I got a 321 system here. The 321 system, um, that's been out for a while now, and uh, it's actually a pretty good seller. Uh, also, I highly recommend it. It sounds amazing. Okay, they're mountable. You can mount the speakers. I, I definitely recommend you mount them with the authentic Bose brackets. Okay, um, yeah, I've seen them as cheap as like two and a half at about thirty bucks. Um, the three two one system has a built-in. Uh, this particular one has a built-in DVD player, um, uh, auxiliary in. Video one is another auxiliary in. Video two, another auxiliary in. AM FM. Um, and uh, it, it just sounds amazing, the 321. If I had to choose one uh, over any of these units here to hook up to a TV, it's definitely going to be hands down 321 system. So um, the TV Solo here, you know, with all the new TVs coming out now, the nickel coin speakers that are built inside the uh, LED TVs, uh, they they just sound like crap. And if you're gonna, if you want some more performance and sound, definitely go with the uh, TV Solo here. I, I highly recommend it. Okay. Uh, the uh, Wave Radio. I would just, uh, if you're gonna use this, I don't really recommend hooking it up to a TV. You could for better, a little bit more sound, and maybe in a bedroom or so, what have you. Um, but uh, the Wave Radio is mainly for like just music in the kitchen or stuff like that, and. Uh, uh, the, bo the, the TV Solo has deeper bass, deeper sound to it than the Wave Radio. So if you're looking for a little bit more bass, uh, a little bit more power, definitely TV Solo. Thanks for watching.